All right, today we're going to be talking about how to solve um, or how to find the area between two curves using the TI and Spire CX calculator, specifically problems that deal with a top function and a bottom function. There's going to be another video that talks about right functions minus left functions. Specifically, we're going to be using this example. This is a 2008 question. And uh, this, I believe, I forgot the, the year on this one, but it's not really important. So let's do this one first. First thing you need to realize is uh, usually on the AP test, they're going to give you this drawing. And what you want to do is have your calculator um, almost be identical. So you can see they've given me the window size here. The X min is probably about negative 0.25. The X max positive uh, 2.5 or 2.25, something like that. The Y max 1.25 and the Y min negative 3.25. So just keep that in mind. We're going to draw this, but we're going to have the same window. So go into the calculator. I'm going to go ahead and select a calculator, and I'm also going to select a graph. And you always want to do this. You don't have to do it right now, but I'm going to go to Document, Insert Problem Calculator. If you see, I'm going to be working on problem one. When I'm done, I'll move to problem two there will not be a conflict between problem one or two. If I let or store something in letter A in problem one, it will not come uh, conflict with problem two. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type in the first function. So going back to this, the first function is going to be sine pi x, and the other function is going to be x cubed minus 4x. Feel free to follow along with your calculator. Enter. And now to have access to a new function, hit tab. It immediately pulls up F2. And I said that one's going to be x to the third minus 4x. Enter. And we have this picture. And you can see it looks nothing like this picture down here. So we're going to have to change the window. We could zoom, but the problem with zoom, we're going to have ugly decimals everywhere. So I'm going to use the window feature. So I'm going to go back to this one. The x min, I said, is going to be negative 0.25. The x max, 2.25. The y min, negative 3.25. And the y max, 1.25. Menu, Window, Window Settings. The X min, negative 0.25. The X max, 2.25. The scale, you can make the scale anything you want. I'm going to put a 1. The Y min, negative 3.25. The Y max, 1. 25 and the scale here again I can make it a 1 okay and now you can see that my graph looks pretty close to the one down here next you always want to move your labels where they belong the blue ones always on top and the red ones always on the bottom so f1 is the top f2 is the bottom I'm going to have to find the intersections. So I can find them individually using Menu, Analyze Graph, Intersections. Or I can find all of them in, at one time, which I think I like to do. Geometry, Points, Lines, Intersection. I'm going to select this graph and this graph. And it gives me the intersections. Or zero, zero, and two, zero. And I'm going to um, 
See how this little thing is right here? I'm going to get rid of that by hitting escape. You do have to do that. Escape. Now it's gone. So there's one intersection. And here's another. Now, these numbers aren't bad, but I'm going to just practice storing these. So the one on the left, I always store to letter A. So you highlight it. Control, store, A. Enter. You can see it's now dark, and if you hover over it, it says it's linked to letter A. I'm going to highlight the two. Control, store, letter B. Enter. The F of 1 is the top function. F of 2 is the bottom function. So if you look at this slide here, the formula to find the area between any two curves, it's always the top function minus the bottom function from the left point, the left intersection, in this case, A, to the right intersection or the, the cutoff point, which is, in this case, B. So I'm just going to type this in the calculator. I'm going to go to control left. And again, I'm currently working on problem one, so you can see I'm still in problem one. I'm going to pull up my integral symbol from letter A to letter B. The top function, if you forgot, you can go back and look at it, but it's called f of 1. The blue one's the top function, and f of 2 is the bottom function. So var top function minus the bottom function, var f2. dx. Enter. Four. So this is the preferred way of finding area between two curves. You can see I'm not doing a lot of data entry. I'm not typing in the functions again. And just to prove to you that we found the correct answer, I'm going to do it the long way. It intersected at 0 and stopped at 2. The top function was sine pi x, and the bottom function is x cubed minus 4x. Parentheses, sine pi x. minus. Here I either have to distribute the negative or use parentheses. So I'm just going to use parentheses. The bottom function was x cubed minus 4x. dx. So you can see we're going to get the same answer, but this way a lot less data entry. And that's what we want. We want you to be able to think about the problem. If you only have 10 minutes to do a problem, we want most of the time to go into reading the problem, processing it, and trying to answer that problem versus doing a lot of ca calculator uh, data entry and trying to figure out the answer to that one. OK, let's move on to the other problem. So this one's done. Here, we're going to be given new functions. 8x cubed is f of x and sine pi x. They want the area of region R. It looks like they've given you the intersection is 1 half, 1. And they've kind of given me the scale here. The y value is 1, so I would make the y max to be about 1.5. The y min would be negative uh, 0.25. The x min would be negative 0.25 and the y max. You can see this is 1 half, so maybe 0.75. And let's see if we can type this in. So if you remember, we have two problems here. Let me go up. I'm ready to move on to problem two. Now the reason we want you to create problem one, problem two, let's say I finished the test early and I, I want to check my work. I haven't deleted anything. If I need to check anything in problem one, all my slides are here. I don't have to type anything in again. I can just 
just check my work versus if you're constantly deleting your work or getting rid of things you're going to have to do the data entry all over again so definitely take advantage of this feature which is not available under scratchpad uh, you, when we use scratchpad we lose tons of features so just don't use it so if you ever lose your spot you can go to on your current and it takes me back to problem number two so I'm going to add a calculator or a graph and my functions were 8x cubed and sine pi x and if I look at the thing here if you don't know which one's which it doesn't it doesn't really matter I'm just going to type them in so 8x cubed enter and sine pi x tab trig sine pi x and again we want this little area here I could use menu zoom box gives me something like that um, if I'm not happy with it I can change the window um, if, if at any point you, you're not happy with your drawing you can do a control back so let me escape here control undo and it resets it or let's say I uh, zoomed in again uh, zoom box so here's I zoomed in I'm not very happy with it you can actually go to menu zoom standard and that resets it to 10 10 on the left and negative 6.67 top and bottom so as I mentioned I'm going to use the window feature again and the reason I'm doing that they've given me my window size so I'm going to take advantage of that menu window window settings the X min I mentioned it's about negative 0.25 the X max about 0.75 The scale, um, I can make it 0.25. The Y min is negative 0.25. And the Y max, 1.5. And the scale on the Y, I guess I can make it a 1. And now this graph looks more like their problem. And, I mean, I can move things around to make it look exactly the same, but it's not, not a very big deal. So I'm going to move the red one to the top and the blue one to the bottom. So I, there's my top and bottom. I have to find my intersection points. So menu, analyze graph, intersection, or geometry, points, lines, intersection. Graph one, graph two, and there are my intersections 0 0 and 0.5 and again we have this here go ahead and hit escape to get rid of that you can move them wherever you need to and we're trying to find this area here bounded between sine pi x and 8 minus oh, sorry, 8 x cubed so we're going to be using the feature again or the the formula top minus bottom from a to b and just like before the left point i'm going to highlight it Control store into letter A. Enter. Highlight this one. Control store into letter B. You can use any letters you want. The top function this time is F2 and the bottom function is F1. So when I go to my calculator, integral from A to B. Actually, just to prove a point, let's see what A is. Zero. And what is B? B is 0.5. Let's go to problem one. What does problem one say? What is A? Zero. And B? Two. So it just so happened that both problems A are zero, but you can see the Bs are different. 
So I'm going to go back to problem one, the integral from A to B. The top function minus the bottom function. If you forgot what that was, let's go here. F2 is on top, F1 is on bottom. F2 minus F1. Dx. That's it. That's the area between two curves for this problem right here. So hopefully you take advantage of the features of your calculator. It, you're not going to be spending a lot of time doing data entry. You'll get through the problems faster, and you can actually go back and check your work without having to type anything in again.